Hello welcome back to our Unity 3D tutorial. So in this tutorial, um, I've been messing around with particle effects outside of the tutorial, but yeah, and I found something really, really cool that I thought would be really cool. So I was watching a movie a while ago called G-I-J-E-O, I think it is. I'm not going to pronounce it because then um, like, I'll get copyrighted and everything. But when they fired their weapons, you saw like the sonic effect and it went rippled effect. And no, we're not going to do that because that's way too hard to do. But um, that that effect gave me an idea because it followed it as it moved around. So I thought, why not have smoke trails on our weaponry? So when we fire, the smoke trails go and follow it so you can come to the side of it and just see it before it hits an enemy, then all the smoke impacts to it. It's a bit cool. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually change the weapon from fireball to ice ball because the ice ball just looks more pulsy for the sound, whereas a fireball, it doesn't look like good for it. So what I'm going to go do is go to a character and find a play of fire and I'm simply going to put the ice ball onto it. So it should work the exact same. Play fire. So as you can see it's rotated to the side, not really what we want but easy to fix. We'll drag it out, go onto it and as you can see the front's that way, there. So what we've got to do is resize it on that one bit. So call this one and put it here and then copy the rest and put it here so it's simple like that so that's that's an easy way to fix it and then that should work so what we're going to do inside here is create an empty game object and we'll call it particles and we'll stick this inside ice ball so on here we're going to attach our three main things which I'm going to go component effects legacy particles ellipsoid particle and then we'll also add a particle emitter so I've assigned all these to it, and as you can see, it's surrounding the bullet where it's supposed to do perfect. So we're going to come in and dramatically change its size. So we're going to say 0.3 for it all. So it's really, really pretty much the same size. And all I'm going to do is drag it to the back of it. So it's not actually surrounding it, but it kind of is at the same time like so. I'm going to keep the emission at 50 and 50, but set the energy to 1, so it grows gone, grows gone, grows gone really, really quick, as you can see, tick, 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 tick. But then, I'm going to come down, tick, it doesn't animate colour, and none of this is used, because we don't need that one. And I'm going to set the material to smoke. And I was looking, there's a really good smoke one, but um, I can't remember where it was, that one, there we go. And as you can see, it's got the ring effects on it, and if you come to the back of it, they'll follow you, so it'll look like it's got ring effects that look really cool. So we're going to come back up and um, set the um, size of them quite big. So we'll say 1-1. One, one. So big, it looks awful at the moment, I know. But then if we just attach Ice Ball back to the prefab and then try again, and you'll see when we fire, it'll follow it. So we fire, so as you can see, smoke trails. So you see, so it's partially a good, I actually don't like that texture no more, but it looks really, really cool. So we'll try the, where's the smoke trail? I swear that only said it a minute ago. Now mind then, it seems to have gone haywire. But we'll say smoke puff, you can try many, many different ones. So you can just keep trying, so what I'm going to do is add some colour to it. So we'll say add a blue to it to match the actual blueness of the ball. We'll add another colour, so a little lighter blue. Just a little bit lighter. Add an even lighter blue. But then it starts to go dark again. And then it goes into its purples. So you'll see that when we attach it again and then fire it, you'll see the different colours will go along with it as we fire. So we fire. As you can see from the side, Oh, I missed it. See the different colours going through it as we fire it? And that's like firing. Different colours. So you'll be able to see where your things go. I know that wouldn't happen in space, but this, imagine this is some magical smoke and it does stuff. It's cool. So you can pretty much work on those all day. I'm going to add some random rotation to it to make it look 
slightly better so it randomly rotates and it's like a fog cloud that looks like a lightning cloud now one thing you don't want to click when you fire it is simulate in world space make sure it's ticked on otherwise when you fire it it'll just follow it continuously so you see it just follows it now if you want it smoking yeah you could have that but that's not how smoke acts really so you want that off and you don't want one shot on either because it'll fire then disappear fire then disappear fire then disappear so you fire as you can see it'll like that it'll explode i mean it looks okay and the good thing about this is we can also attach it to a fireball so if we drag a fireball out and put it roughly near it what we can do is go to the top of it select the smoke from this duplicate it and stick it in fireball set it to zero 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 and then move it back a little bit so now you can see the ice ball we don't need no more that's already done and the particles for this we can start editing now fire particles are just grey so we can untip the colour for that one and um, they kind of have a wavy effect to it so if you have it still we want it to slowly move up so we'll just set the Y to 0 0.01 so it'll slowly move up try 0 0.1 there you go then, so it's slowing me from, but it's exploding and getting rid of the f so, so fast. So if we stick down fireball, and we'll just stick fireball back onto our character for a minute, just to test it. So now as you can see when we fire, we have fire smoke effects. So it's not the most perfect one, but I think it looks really cool. So you can like draw your name in it or something, it could have smoke effects going on. Looks really cool. Works for missiles as well, so pff, fire a missile up or something. Really hope you liked it. I'm just going to quickly attach the ice ball back to it. Thank you for watching. Sorry it's a bit off compared to what I've usually been doing, but it's just so cool to do. Smoke effects, smoke trails. You can stick it on characters so when they run around they've got smoke coming off them. 